inexperienced eBay sellers find themselves locked out of their accounts or suspended from their seller accounts time and time again, and one of the biggest reasons for that is because they are importing Vero products to their store. It may happen in the beginning, in the middle, or even after a year or two of dropshipping. If you're here for the long run, and I really hope that you are, this video is going to help you out a lot because here I'm going to talk about eBay, Vero, everything that you need to know, and how to avoid it at the end of the day, and even if you did get it, how to appeal against it and get your seller account back. Quick intro and let's go. What's up everybody? Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Liran from AutoDS. I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, I'm going to go over everything that you need to know about eBay Vero. What is eBay Vero in the first place? How it works? Then I'll show you eBay's whole Vero list. Then we'll talk about the things that we can do to avoid getting Vero products on our eBay dropshipping stores. And even if we did manage to get it by accident and your seller account is in trouble, I'll show you what steps you need to take in order to get your account back and continue selling and profiting. One second before we begin this video, if you're new to our YouTube channel, this is the kind of content we offer along with so many other topics like product research, suppliers, marketplaces, and so much more. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video if you appreciate the value, and let's get on with the eBay Vero explanation. What is eBay Vero? Vero stands for Verified Rights Owner Program. This means that you and I as dropshippers, we cannot sell knockoffs from big companies, companies who have trademarked, patented their products, and they do not want other people to resell them. Now, this may confuse you and make you start to think, wait, so if any company can patent their product, how can I know exactly what I can sell and what I can't? So don't worry because I will go over everything in this video and don't forget that I've been dropshipping for the last five years and I have never had any problems with Vero products. On the other hand, I've seen many dropshipper stores crumble down to the ground because they were not careful enough with the Vero products. So let me show you exactly how you can differentiate it and everything else that you need to do in order to avoid this from happening. So we know that eBay Vero means that we cannot sell products that we are not allowed to resell. What are those products and how can we get to them? First, let's get an understanding of how eBay Vero works in the first place. I mean, how does eBay know what products we are allowed to sell, what we're not allowed to resell? How can they scan tens of thousands of sellers, all of their listings, and see what products they are selling and what they are not allowed to resell. So eBay uses advanced technologies to scan all of the listings in your store and in anyone else's store and see exactly what they are selling. They will see exactly, they can cross check it with their Vero list and see exactly what's allowed to be there and what's not allowed to be there. Now, the first time eBay catches you with a Vero product, it really depends on the product that you are trying to resell but the first time they're probably going to give you a little pet on the hand and they'll tell you, hey, you cannot sell this product. Please read about our Vero rights program and see what you can sell and not sell. But you will have so many trademark products on that list. You'll get lost. That's why I'm going to make it much easier for you in this video. So the first time eBay is going to tell you, okay, you cannot sell this product here. Take a little one to three day suspension on your eBay seller account. In three days, your account will be back and you can start selling again. The second time, they can suspend your account for maybe one or two weeks. The third time, they could suspend your account indefinitely. Now, I've been doing this for the last five years. I've had one warning on my first year of dropshipping. From there, I learned all about Vero and it hasn't happened since then. So that's usually what happens. And that is how eBay scans all of your listings and they will get to the products that you are not allowed to resell. You cannot hide them with images or with a different title and a different product description. They will know what you're selling at the end of the day. And if any of those products are Vero, you will have to pay the price. So where is that Vero list? How do we know what products we can sell, not sell? How can we see all of those trademarked and copyrighted products? And how exactly is that going to help us? So eBay's Vero program shows you everything. And as you can see here on the blog below, by the way, I'll leave a link to you guys right below this video so that you can all read the blog. But of course, do continue watching this video because I'm providing much more value here. Okay, so where is that Vero list? Let's click on the Vero program page. And here's eBay's verified rights owner program page or their Vero page. So what happened to my listing? They'll let you know. 
and how can you get to that list of products that are Vero. I'm going to click here on Vero participant profiles. And as you can see here, we have a huge list from A to Z if you want to skip to anything. But here's all of the list of eBay's Vero companies, companies that came to eBay and told them, hey, we don't want anyone reselling our products. If you find anyone that is selling our products, please do this and that. So these are all of the companies that we are not allowed to resell. One, obviously you won't be able to remember all of these companies and every time you're adding a product, you're not going to come to this list and try to search for that company. It could be on a different name. It could not be exactly the way that you're writing it, but this is one way to give you a quick indication of what you're not allowed to resell. So just go over the list really, really quick and try to memorize some of these names so that if you do get to it on your supplier's pages, you'll know that you are not allowed to resell this product. Two, use your common sense. So you know that you cannot sell iPhones, video game consoles, or any known company that you heard of. So add that on top of this. The third way, and this is the best way to avoid adding Vero products to your store, this is simply using the AutoDS platform because AutoDS has a huge list of Vero products updating every single day with new Vero products that are being added to the market. So if you try to add a product that you are not allowed to resell, AutoDS will stop you and tell you, hey, this product has a Vero violation either in the manufacturer or in the brand or it has some keywords that we do not like to see in the product's description. So go ahead and check out what's wrong with this listing. And if it is a Vero violation, don't go ahead, don't continue the import process. But if it's something small that you can overcome, and I will show you a small example of exactly what I mean, then you can go ahead and continue importing that product. Even if you got a Vero violation, error message by AutoDS. I will show you exactly what I mean. And this is the method that I've been using for years and it's working perfectly. Let's start by adding a product which we are not allowed to resell. For example, an Apple iPhone, one of the most classic demonstrations that we can offer. So let's head on to Amazon, one of the suppliers that you can work with and search for Apple iPhone. Now, once again, any one of the products that you add from AutoDS's database of thousands of thousands of products that you cannot add to your store, the same process will happen when you will try to add that product to your store. So let's add this latest arrival, new Apple iPhone 12 mini. So you are an inexperienced dropshipper. You don't know what you are allowed to resell and not, and you are going to add a product that you are not allowed to resell. So what I'm going to do in this case, I can either click the import to AutoDS button to quickly import it to my store. This feature is available by simply downloading and installing the AutoDS Chrome dropshipping helper extension. So just go to Google, write AutoDS helper, and it'll be the first result that you will see. After you download and install this extension, you will be able to see that import to AutoDS button on any product page on any one of the 25 plus supported suppliers. So you can easily import products in just one click. You can also do it by copying the whole products URL or the product ID, which is the ASIN. So this is the ASIN for this product. You can also search for ASIN here on the page and find it down here. So this is the same ASIN that we're seeing here, but that's not the point of this video. Let's just copy the whole URL, go to AutoDS and add this product to our store. So I'm going to click on add products on the left side and I'm going to paste that URL, make sure that I'm publishing to the right store. And here in the advanced options, what I want to do is don't allow Vero or block keywords. So I want to protect myself. I don't want to allow AutoDS to import these products to my store. In this case, I won't add variations because I'm just showing an example. No need for out of stock variations. I don't really care about the brand because I know that this brand, I'm not allowed to import it anyway to my store. So now I'm just going to click on add as a draft. And this is the same thing as clicking on the import to AutoDS button that we saw here. It's simply going to import the product to the drafts section of my store. So let's go ahead and click on add as draft and see what happens. Item is being added to drafts. Click here to track the progress. So let's click to add the progress and let's see what happens when we try to add this product to our dropshipping stores. And lo and behold, we have an error. So let's hover over and see exactly what it says. Manufacturer name contains a Vero word keyword Apple. So AutoDS's Vero database has the keyword Apple inside on top of thousands and thousands of other keywords that we are not allowed to resell. And it noticed that the word Apple is in the manufacturer's name. So it stopped this import process. It's letting us know that we are not allowed to resell Apple products. Now here you can force upload this product by clicking here, force upload all. 
or by clicking on this refresh icon here, force upload. Once we click on that, no matter what error messages we have, AutoDS will import it to our stores anyway. So be cautious when using the force upload method. At what situations can you import products that have to do with Apple's products? It doesn't mean that you cannot sell cases and other things that match Apple's iPhone. Let me show you an example of what I mean. So let's head back to Amazon. And this time let's search for an Apple iPhone case. So as long as the manufacturer who created the case doesn't mind you reselling it, you won't get an error message and everything will be fine. But if we go back to eBay's Vero page, here I notice that it says Zag. And Zag is a manufacturer for cases for iPhone and other phones too. So I noticed that this name is here. So I'll know to avoid importing Zag's products to my store. But that's just one example. You don't have to memorize the manufacturer's names because you will get the error from AutoDS anyway. So here, these are Apple iPhone cases. These are manufactured by Apple, if I'm not mistaken. So we're just going to continue scrolling. Let's go to page three and start getting those third-party sellers that don't mind dropshippers. Let's go with this one. Liquid silicone case compatible for iPhone XR. If you're importing any accessory to a product that is Vero, that is absolutely fine as long as the manufacturer here doesn't mind. And once again, AutoDS will let us know about that. So here I'm going to take the whole product's URL or just the ASIN, it really doesn't matter. And let's add this product to our store. Now here, there's, an, there's another very important thing that we have to remember. So let me just add this product to the draft section. I'm gonna exit this screen, click on add products. And this time I'm going to add the ASIN for the iPhone case. Advanced options, don't allow Vero. We don't need variations again in this case because it's just a demonstration. Now let's add this product as a draft. Click to track the progress. Okay, and while I clicked on it, it simply imported to my draft section. So this product is ready. So as you see here, we didn't get any error that we're not allowed to import this product to our stores. And even if we would have gotten an error saying the word Apple iPhone is in the product's description, that's perfectly fine because it's only in the product's description. It's not the manufacturer. So there is no problem to resell this product. But in this case, we didn't even get that error. So even when you do get a Vero error, it doesn't mean that this product that you're not allowed to resell it. Just make sure that it's not in the manufacturer. It's not in the brand name. Maybe it's an accessory to go with the Vero product. And that is absolutely fine to sell. Here is that liquid silicone case. Let's open the item editor by just clicking on this little arrow over here. And here we can start optimizing the product. But what's important here for these scenarios, as you see, even here, the seller said that this case is for iPhone and he didn't start the title, for example, by saying, by calling it an Apple iPhone case, because in this scenario, in this case, you will think that the manufacturer is Apple iPhone. So this is a silicone case for Apple iPhone. And as long as you got that for, then on the one hand, you will not confuse the customer. He will understand that this is a case for the Apple iPhone and that the manufacturer is not Apple iPhone. And on the other hand, you won't have any Vero problems when you're implementing this method. So that is how you know exactly how to identify those Vero products and how to avoid adding them to your dropshipping stores using the database that we have that is always updating with new copyrighted products and materials being added to the database on a daily basis. So you will never have to import any Vero products to your store without knowing that it was a Vero product in the first place. Do be cautious, do keep your eyes open, and there won't be any problems. As long as you got the automation inside your dropshipping business, you can really go ahead and continue scaling your dropshipping business without having to worry about what you can and what you cannot sell. So we do abide by the rules. We do not want to make anyone mad. And at the end of the day, this is how you can protect yourself for the long term. The final thing that I want to talk about in this video is how to appeal against Vero violations. If your account got suspended, if you weren't too cautious, you didn't use AutoDS system to notice all of the Vero items that you want to import to your store or those that you already imported to your store and you didn't notice that they are Vero. So what are you going to do once by accident your store got suspended by a Vero violation and you cannot get your store back up online again. It's not a temporary suspension. eBay is not telling you, hey, this one is only going to go on for three days or for a week. This time it's permanent. You are suspended for violating our Vero guidelines. So what are you going to do about that? First things first, you are going to receive an email by some lawyer anywhere around the world telling you, hey, 
I noticed this listing. I told eBay about it. And by the way, that's another way for eBay to know about their Vera violations. So one way is for them to use their scanners and they scan your listings on your store. This is the automatic method. And every company, especially every big company, they have people whose jobs is to search the internet for people who are reselling their products when they are not allowed to. So in this scenario, you're going to get, or in any scenario where you're banned for Vero, for Vero violations, you're going to receive an email from some lawyer or someone who works for that company letting you know what you did wrong, that you were not allowed to resell this specific item. And this will give you an opening, a, a window, an opportunity to reply to that company, to that lawyer, to that representative who reached out to you and simply apologize. Tell them that you had no intention of reselling a product that you didn't know you were not allowed to. It was an honest mistake. You've been doing this business for years. You're raising your family on top of this small business that you have. Try to really reach out to their hearts. Let them understand that this was a one-time mistake and that you will never repeat it again. I have seen several cases from other dropshippers that this really worked and they were able to get their account back because that person who complained against you has the power to go to eBay and let them know, hey, I worked it out with the seller, everything is fine. You can give them their account back and eBay will do exactly that. Now, if you did not get any letters from any lawyers or from any companies, you can simply reach out to eBay and do the same thing. Let them know that it was a one-time mistake. Get them on the phone, by the way, because you won't be able to chat with them or do it online if your account was suspended. So you'll need to get them on the phone and sincerely apologize. Let them know that it is a one-time mistake and that you will never repeat it again. And that is true. You're not lying to anyone. You really won't repeat it again. You can use, like I mentioned, AutoDS's database to scan all of your products, the ones that you have in your store, the ones that you want to import to your store, and you won't fall into this situation once again. So the only way to appeal against a Vero violation is to either reach out to eBay or reach out to the person who complained against you. Either way, you'll have access to both of those options and really be sincere. That is all that I have for you guys on eBay's Vero violations. Everything that you need to know about it, what it is, how it works, how to avoid it, and how to appeal once your store got suspended by accident by a Vero violation. That is how the big boys do it. That is how the service providers do it. Those who take money to do those actions on your store. Now you have this information so you'll know exactly what you need to do. You won't need to pay anyone else to do this work for you because now you can do it by yourself. If there's any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer. And by the way, even if you're not dropshipping on eBay, even if you're dropshipping on Shopify or the Facebook Marketplace or any other platform, you still want to avoid copyrighted, copyright infringement issues. Nobody wants lawsuits. Nobody wants to wake up to any surprises. So AutoDS's database will protect you against these types of scenarios, no matter what selling channel you are dropshipping on. Just keep in mind to stay away from known brands and of course, pay attention to AutoDS's Vero violation warnings. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you appreciate the value, give us a like, give us a share so that your friends and family can also enjoy and learn about the wonderful world of dropshipping. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is the kind of content we offer and so much more. Thank you for watching. See you in the future videos.